Hannah. Oh, I don't know what that is. I put a date on my hand. I must have slept like that. <laughs> um, I had someone comment that they enjoyed learning about my AMT class. So this morning I was going to give just a tiny, tiny bit of information because oddly enough, my instructor last night said that if anyone is interested in EMT school in my area and wants to go to the community college to save some money, um, now is the time to sign up, especially where I go here in Carrollton. I wanted to show you a couple of things. Here's my book. I wanted to, <laughs> here's my book. Emergency Care and Transition Transportation of the Sick and Injured by AAOS the 11th edition. That's what it looks like. It's expensive. You can rent it on Amazon, which is pretty cool. You can get an audio version. You can get an ebook version. I chose to get the hard copy version because I like to highlight and underline and put post-it notes all over it. And uh, that's what works for me. I kind of wish I had a digital version, like an ebook version on my tablet here because this book is heavy. This book is huge. It has, it hurts my back to carry it and I take it everywhere. And it has 1,580 pages. So it's a big book. So carrying it around kind of sucks. I suggest you get the digital version and the audio version if you have kids or you're in the car a lot because you gotta figure out how you guys learn. I'm sure you know, I didn't. I thought I learned all visually and it turns out I'm doing much better with reading it and marking up my book now that I'm in my adulthood. So you gotta do what works for you. Um. Here is what my instruction page looks like. Hold on. So when I go into, I do most of my work online. This is all of my work for this week. I have to read chapters 31, 30, 31, and 32. These are lectures. This is in, how long is this lecture? 38 minute lecture. So that's the lecture. So you can like speed it up if you wanna listen to it faster or you can slow it down. I have an ortho, these go, well, there's a lecture with each chapter. <coughs> so here's my lecture that goes with chapter 30. Here's my lecture for 31. And there's like two or three of the people that do the lectures that really stink and they put you to sleep listening to it. Sorry, the pictures are graphic. Environmental emergencies is 32. Then I have, three practice exams to do and I download them. And then I have this case study to do and you watch this and you go through the steps if I was to come onto the scene. Then I have skill sheets. Let's see what the skill sheets are this time. These are what we do in class. These are the skills. Um, evaluation sheet. These are all of the things that we would practice in class. So he teaches us how to do that stuff. And then you have to go through all of the steps. So this is what they're gonna check you off on uh, test day. You have a written test and then you have to do all of your skill sheets and there are lots of them. And you can't miss any of these things. So that's why every single test has a retest button. So let's go back. Um, blah. This is extra credit. I need it. My grade is just barely squeaking by because I test so badly. So um, there's extra credit. You can get certified with FEMA. So when there's an emergency, um, you can go and volunteer. So I have to take this course. Yeah, I gotta do all the extra credit I can. I gotta just ignore pain and get back to work. So that's the curriculum I'm gonna do. I'm actually, it's 1.32. I don't have to, Bella doesn't leave school until 1.50, no, 2.50. So what I'm thinking is that I will get in my car, take a sleeping bag and my lap desk and take my school stuff and just trap myself there and work for the next two hours. So um, I'll show you one more thing with all of this, that I'm showing you on my tablet is stuff that I have to do on my own in one week. And every week it's 
another set. So we did the skill sheets. I go through those and I practice. I have an exam review and then I have platinum is the national registry. It's called platinum planner. And um, every week we have a test on platinum. They're training you how to read the questions and figure out what they're asking. The tests suck. Um, there's a girl in my class that is a medic and a nurse and she's getting, she's redoing her medic because after six years, she couldn't pass her test because it's so hard. She says it's the hardest thing she's ever taken in her life. That's the way it should be. It should be like that. I mean, I'm out there, whoever passes these boards are out there trying literally saving lives. The first step to saving that life. So I think it should be hard. I think that if you're gonna go out there and work to save people, that you should know this information. I've had so many people, and I think there's a dude in my class that cheats all the time, and I don't care, that's on him. But for me, I don't wanna feel like I'm gonna kill someone. I wanna know the information. So I try to do all of these things. Yet, I am ill, I hurt. And all of March and most of April, it's been really hard to keep up. And our teacher calls us out. He's like, I know when you log on, I know what lectures you're doing. I know what work you're doing at home. Just because you're doing it at home doesn't mean I'm not watching. And I'm like, yay. And then Tuesday is my class day. So let me show you the syllabus and then I'll stop. And it's a full on college course. I call this full time because I study all the time. Um, these are all the things we've done so far. Each week is the same. Let's see, practical skills, syllabus, blackboard, let's see. There's PowerPoints you go through. Look at all these PowerPoints, you guys. Boink. Lots of them. But he goes through these in class. So that's kind of the lecture that you go through in class. Let me show you the schedule so that you understand. I think it's worth it. It is a no joke class. It is a lot of info. Come on. It is a lot of info. It is a lot to learn and you are going to be saving lives. And I mean, this is a one semester course for us. Yeah. We need more EMTs. We need more paramedics. We need more advanced EMTs and advanced life saving sprint car people. We need these people. I mean, now more than ever. So if you're brave, if you're healthy, even if you're not healthy like me, you can do this. It's hard work. It is one semester of hard work. If you can dedicate to this and really know your stuff, I suggest you do, if you're prepping for this class, learn your body's anatomy, learn the physiology, the way the systems work together, because it is a lot of, oh, and also learn your normal ranges for all ages. That's crazy to say, but it's like, if your blood pressure is supposed to be 120 over 80, and it's one, or it's 200 over 100, it's high, so you treat for that, and you figure out why that's happening. That's EMT. So know your normal ranges so that when normal ranges are off, not just BP, you want heart rate, BP, respiration, O2 saturation, call your local fire department and ask them to give you some tips so that you can prep for your EMT and ask them when the next class is and where you can take it. I highly suggest doing it because in today's world, I know how to stay alive now. So if I got trapped in my house and I have all of our medical kids in my fam, in not just my immediate family, but my extended family, I know how to help them. So if I never go and work this job, even though they're desperate for EMTs and you don't have to be on a rig, you can go work at a ski resort and, um, get a free ski pass. You can go work at a hospital that is, uh, you can work at, you can work at a ton of different things. Look at all of the different jobs online on Google that go along with your EMT certification. So it's a great career. And if you're coming out of high school or you're old like me, it's one semester guys. It's one nine week program. And then you can keep going and do paramedic after or advanced life saving or uh, advanced EMT. It's a career if you want it, but it's knowledge. I know so much. I, I, I suggest it. Next video won't be like that, but someone asked, so I shared.